Hello, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com and Colburn Strategic Partners. And in this video, I'd like to show you Datamate's Datagram 3D Field to Plan in Action with the real-life case study of the survey of a pedestrian bridge across a highway. The task was to survey a pedestrian bridge across a highway at a measurement accuracy of 2 centimeters or better. The bridge is located in Novosibirsk, Russia, and I apologize if I mispronounce that. And the survey was done this past April 2014. The original effort estimation for the surveying project was two days in the field by conventional surveying techniques using both prism and prismless measurement with a total station from four different stations, plus a day and a half in the office to create the detailed CAD plan of the bridge based on the total station measurements and the sketches made by hand in the field. A key challenge for the planned survey was the need to enter the highway that is heavily loaded with traffic during the daytime. So the survey had to take place at night, early in the morning, or on the weekends conventionally. Also, the bridge is partially made of a semi-transparent material and is partially coated by reflective white material, which I can zoom in here to show you. Maybe get a little better idea of what I'm talking about. And this provided somewhat challenges in terms of using a prismless total station device at oblique angles. Uh, so when we were on, if they were on the outside of the highway shooting at very large oblique angles towards the bridge, it didn't always return distances using prismless measurement techniques. The actual time for surveying the bridge in the field was only one hour using Datagram 3D, including the photography of the bridge with a regular camera from all directions and the measurement of a few control points for georeferencing of the images. The images were taken with a regular digital camera being a Nikon S6500, which is a 16 megapixel resolution, and they used a 24 millimeter wide angle lens with that. Altogether, a total of 26 images of the bridge from a 360 degrees were made both from the ground level as well as from 50 feet elevated by installing the Nikon camera on a small Phantom II quadcopter. The coordinates of the control points for georeferencing were measured with a prismless total station from just one station setup. The control points chosen were high contrast, well defined objects such as roof corners edges of road signs and road stripings and identif photo identifiable points. It took an additional half day effort in the office to create the detailed plan of the bridge by drawing the plan directly on the images with Datagram 3D software, which is what you're looking at here. Altogether, this project was done using Datagram 3D in only five hours, which is 23 hours faster than using conventional surveying methods. And we can look at the approved screen and you can see all the accuracies in X, Y, and Z of every point that was drawn using Datagram 3D. And I see there from about six hundredths of a foot down to two hundredths of a foot. And when working on the project, they exported their, all the points. And you can see the 3D viewer of the bridge. It's a full 3D result. And they exported the entire Datagram 3D drawing using export to DXF. But back then, they did not have the new feature, which is the AutoCAD Connect feature. So today, if this job were to be done, they could connect with their AutoCAD file and the drawing would automatically be done in the AutoCAD file simultaneously while they are drawing the new points. I'd also like to mention in the time frame that this was done in version 2.0 and at that point in time you could not link the images and it required four control points per image and in today's version 3.0 and later uh, you can link the images which then let you uh, use less anchor points 
uh, about eight anchor points per cluster. So there's a lot of time savings there compared to when this was done in April. And what I can show you is here is the drawing, the model space of the drawing in AutoCAD. And you can see it's a full 3D drawing of that bridge, the structure and the clearances. If you'd like to learn more about Datagram 3D, you can visit datamate.com or my website, ericcolburn.com. And if you have any questions, you'd like to learn more about Datagram 3D, or you'd like to schedule a short webcast so that I can show you the software, please feel free to email me at eric at colburnstrategic.com. And there are contact forms on both of those websites that I mentioned before too and i'll put that in the video notes as well the contact information and the website information and i look forward to showing you how you can integrate this into your business to be more productive and more profitable thank you work smart and be brilliant